everyone. You're welcome to the Total Education Show. School is not just about academic subjects alone. School is also about co-curricular activities. School is engagement with fun. School is a lot more than just uh, the cognitive side of things. Development of a child is 360. And that's why we have tagged this program Total Education Show. Stream is here to raise kids that will identify the problems, come together as a group, you know, inquire why this problem happened and they see a way to correct the error. We normally say that we have four baskets of rights. So four, that, four baskets of, of rights. Of rights. Of oh, awesome. As provided for by the child rights law. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Hello, friends. Hello, everyone at home. My name is Wumi Tolu Alalade, the anchor on the Total Education Show. Yes, Total Education Show. The show is put together and packaged by the Lagos State Ministry of Education for your co-curricular aspect of education. So you have a total and a, a valued education system, even in your homes. Yes. Now, what areas will we be looking at? We're going to be looking at STEM, at STEM issues, and we'll be looking at, yes, child protection issues. Everything that has to do with child protection and advocacy of your children, even as they are home. Now, do you want to give me feedback? Yes, I want to hear from you. You can send in your feedbacks to me on this WhatsApp number 081-26601-889. Yes, WhatsApp messages only on 081-26601-889. Yes, I'm waiting and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Welcome to today's episode of the Total Education Show. Today on the show, we are at Alaso Community Junior Secondary School in Alagbado where the community has deemed it fit to give parts of their land, the front of their houses, to start up a school as far back as 2009, so that their children in the community can have a school to attend. They did this, you know, in a way to kind of support the teaching and learning of their own children, and to ensure that while the the government is building a school, they have a place where the teaching and learning can start and continue. They, they indicated interest and the government has done a lot to support this initiative. So we are here today to meet the community leaders, to meet the individuals that deemed it fit to give their part of their land, their space for the school to use prior to the time they will move to the uh, new building that the the Lagos State Ministry of Education has built for them, that the government has built for them. So we're here to uh, kind of let us know the importance of community in the development of children in Lagos State. So we're here with the community leader, Pastor Joel Agbebi. Thank you for having us here today, sir. It's a pleasure. We are grateful for your coming today. It's a unique day, a memorable day, and uh, we are so happy for what the uh, government has done for us, for supporting us since day one, mm. when we wanted to start this school in 2009. Wow. The government, in its wisdom, supported our initiative because we felt that it is better to train your children. When you don't train your children, you are not giving them a good future. So that was one of the reasons behind our thinking that we now thought a school should be established in this community. And when we got to government, they approved us to go and start the school, but on the condition that we provide accommodation. To start with, to, to start show with, your interest. To show, well, yes, <laughs> and they were very good to us. So we now started to look for accommodation. And in the process, we got accommodation 
but we had problems with payment hmm. because you know in a community of elderly people to get money was not easy yes. and the our landlords were demanding that we pay upfront so and we, they are the, is there children that will come to that school oh? of course <laughs> so Isn't it funny uh, indeed we tried our best but our best could not satisfy them so they had to send us out of that accommodation mm. eventually uh, we we had two of our landlords that were very good and uh, they saw what they saw the vision which we saw and they uh, supported, supported our vision that they will give us willingly their own uh, land and they were able to give us the first one uh, mr uh, Tunde okay. Ademokoya, he gave us a very large portion of his land. In fact, including his toilets, everything, he released everything to us, to the glory of God. And uh, he didn't collect a cover. So that relieved us a lot the body, from the burden of paying, of paying uh, for accommodation. Music. Then we also uh, approached another landlord because the, the space was not enough for us. So we now approached another landlord and himself too was very very accommodating That's so Mr. that is ne yes Negua. yes mr kenneth negua mm. he too gave us the space where we are today and uh, where we were able to do uh, seven structures mm -hmm. we started in 2013. Thank you very much, sir, for having us. Thank you for the introduction. My pleasure. And for the background yes, of the sir. school. Yes, sir. Straight up, we're going to meet the benevolent landlords in the person of Mr. Tunde Ademokoya and Mr. Kenneth Imegwa, so that we we'll meet with them and we we'll hear from them. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Here with me is Mr. Tunde Ademokoya, one of the landlords that gave his residence for the startup of a school. Mr. Ademokoya, thank you for joining us on this episode. Thank you. Ma. Thank you very much. You. Uh, we appreciate you. And um, from the mouth of the chairman of the resident association in Alaso community here, mm. we were told that you gave your landed property the plot of land to start up the school when they were having issues with the accommodation and um, you did not request to collect anything from them we must commend you for that thank you so much thank you wow that's so rare <laughs> when right in the same community we have people charging them for money thank and you. it's the same children that are coming into the school that's so um, wonderful thank you very much sir. thank you thank you thank so we want to know what prompted you to do this? I want to welcome you to this community. This is Alaso community in Agbado, the local government. We, I want to thank you, especially, you know, for the honor done on me today. Uh, well, uh, you ask what is the reason for giving them the the space to use. The one of the. One of my cardinal objectives in my life is to continue to help people, continue to make, make sure that every, anything I have, I will not deny the other party where it is necessary. And therefore, at the time we established uh, this uh, school in 1999 by the community, you know, we have some places there that we, we are using that time. You mean 2009? 2009, yes, 2009. Yes. So then this nearby building, after that one drive us from that place. <laughs> the chairman said so. So we have to come to this adjacent uh, building. Mm. And it's just a week to the reception of this uh, student. And that time we are struggling for recognition mm. from government. Mm. And so we are just Badly. Because government wanted you to show that desire uh -huh. that you actually uh -huh. want them to cite a and, school. And then we don't want them to carry this school. There are so <laughs> many propositions about the, 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 school, the, the school. Yes, mm. some are saying that uh, they should carry the school to Amikanle. Mm. Uh, but because of the fact that uh, we want to have this school so that our children mm -hmm. 
the children from our neighbors come, yes. can always come here, mm -hmm. you know, so that our children will not become area boys. Going they will, out uh, so they will not turn into Togri and all mm -hmm. this. So after this man just gave us a, just one week oh. that time for the children, this year to resume. I look at it, what can we do? The chairman was confused. Everybody was just confused. Mm. Well, I just, I just talked to my wife mm. that uh, since uh, we have not actually completed uh, this this space, mm. let us you know allow, allow to the, these children you know to to occupy the place, mm. so that uh, even though at that time we never knew that uh, this thing could take uh, this so much uh, time, mm. but then we I take it upon myself that okay. Let us give, give them the space. They give them the space to use, hmm. Thank and you so much, that is how the whole Thank thing you started. And you. you know, way back, uh, I think 2013. 13, yes. You know, the date. Ah, thank you so much, sir. And you see, the students keep increasing in number, and the community <laughs> they keep sending their children here. Thank God and, for that. Uh, since 2013, we we can see that the community loves education yes and like you have said that you you prefer your children to come to school yes. rather than be involved in togri in tyrancy and all that and yes. we must commend the community and, and everyone here for what they have done and we have the the government showing their support in a very big and massive way <laughs> during this dispensation we really appreciate them yes yeah. and we're here to also showcase how government has you know, supported this initiative because very few, in a few uh, weeks, they will be moving to the um, structure, the, the permanent structure that the Lagos State Government has put in place for this community. And in this vein, we want to let everyone know that we are open to support from everyone, all stakeholders. The education of our children is not only the duty of the government, it's the duty of all of us together, a community effort, a collaboration between all the stakeholders of education and we all show interest, show the desire to have our children's life transformed through education. We are going to interview the, uh, the second landlord as well okay. and um, we'll be back in the GV. <music> staying with us on this episode. We are here with Mr. Kenneth Imegwa. Imegwa. Thank you. The second landlord, actually the first person to give a space for the school to start up when the community were having problems with accommodation. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, sir. ma. Thank you, ma. In fact, it's it's so rare to have people give their property. You know, to get a property in Lagos, you know what it takes. And for you to give up your own for the community's children. Yes, ma'am. Ah, your, your children were part of the students? No, 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 no. My children didn't attend school here. Oh, and they, no, right no, they now, are graduates, they are graduates. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, ma'am. You see, so when you do good, good <laughs> always comes to you. Yes, There's nothing you give that you won't get million fold in return. Thank yes, you so much, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Can you just bring us back to that time? What prompted you to, to take that initiative? Well, um, I like education. And um, I am a father too, so I found it um, a kind of blessing to be approached, you know, to help the children. So when they approached me, I felt that this is uh, an opportunity for me to give back to God, hmm. to the community and to the government and to Nigeria in general what I have gained as a citizen of this country. Wow. So as a father, when they approached me, I have to give uh, to the children a place they can stay. Because if I don't, where will they go? Mm. Some of them will be out of school. Mm. Some of them will not, I mean, have education. But my little contribution can make a greater Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Because since they started, we have had so many graduates in the community who started here. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So that is uh, a way of giving back to the society what I have gained from the society. Thank you so much for 
all that you have contributed to the startup of this school and Thank the you, sustenance Madam. of the schools from 2013 till this moment. It's my pleasure, ma. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, ma. So we are going straight to the permanent site of the Alasso Community Junior Secondary School, Alagbadu. In fact, you are going to be wild where you see the structure Lagos State Government has put or should I, should I say mounted for the children to have their school in. This is so exciting. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Wow! Welcome to the new Alasso building. Alasso Community Junior Secondary School. See the excitement. Aren't you excited? Yeah, See excited. the gigantic structure that your school. Wow, this beautiful. is your new school. Are you happy? Tell me. Very happy and excited. What Just about you? Very excited. Wow. I appreciate everyone here today. And I want to appreciate the Lagos State Government, the Honorable Commissioner for Education, and all the community for providing this magnificent building for us. We're really excited with the students, even the community, with all the efforts put in place. We are now joining the Millennium Train, and we are having products that we are sure we can beat our chest. We live to keep the glory of Lagos State, the environment, and the entire community, which will last for a very long time. This school has been cited and has been a community school since 2013. And all along, we have been pushing and pushing because in any project, you have to push to get to your dreamland. We're happy we are getting to our dreamland today. And very soon, I'm sure, my governor, Governor Lucia Lababajide Sonwolu, the Honorary Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Adi Fisai of Falashade, will be here and the whole community will rejoice with us. My students are more than excited. We are grateful to them, the chairman, CDA, our landlords and everybody that has supported us spiritually, physically and mentally, we are saying a big thank you to you. God bless you all and to my students. We welcome you all and my teachers down into this school. Thank you. God bless you all. We appreciate you. I'm super excited with the new building the Lagos State Government has given to us. Though I'm not from the from Alaska community, but I'm from another place and I am having the opportunity to study in this school. The teachers are all great. We have great students too. We are all happy. The students of Alaska Community Junior Secondary School, we are all happy and we say a very big thank you to Lagos State Government for giving us this wonderful and great building. Good day everyone, I'm from Alaska Community Junior Secondary School. I'm here to appreciate the governor of this state for giving us the opportunity to be in this lovely environment. We are looking forward to move to this environment. We can't wait to start our school year. I am very excited. We've come to the end of today's episode and see this. I'm just so happy 
the, you can hear from the principal and the community, the children. We thank our governor, Mr. Babajide Olushana Sonwolu, for citing this school to complement the initiatives of the stakeholders in the community. We thank the parents, the community at large, the chairman, everyone, each and every one of you in this community. We thank the Honorable Commissioner, Mrs. Folashade Adefisayo. Mommy, you know, you are a mother of a million children and still counting. And we know that you have the interest of the children at heart. This is a product of a team that loves the masses, that looks into the interest of the masses and of course wants the best for the future of Lagos State of our nation. On this note, we're saying bye for now on this episode of the Total Education Show. And uh, we know that seeing this, you can see that uplifting Lagos State, uplifting education is not the duty of one person, is a collective effort. So in your own community, as a stakeholder of education, look at what you need to do to support the initiatives of the government. And at the end of it all, we're having everyone, the future of our children, secured. On that note, I will meet Oluala Lade, the anchor of the Total Education Show. Say bye for now. See you next time. Same station, same time. Bye.